Being a penetration tester, we try using hundreds of reconnaissance tools and sometimes it becomes a cumbersome task as well. Watch this video till the end because I'm going to talk about one of the underrated yet the powerful tool that can show you everything you need with a single command. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe it. One of the popular passive reconnaissance or footprinting technique is Google search. You heard me right, that's Google search. It's commonly known as Google hacking as well in the world of ethical hacking and penetration testing. Uh, you can do a quite a bit with the Google search. Let's look at the top 10 keywords that are generally used for passive footprinting techniques. First, cache. This keyword will display the web pages stored in the Google cache. Second, link. It will list the web pages that have links to a specific web pages. Third is the related. Now this is very interesting because with this you can list the web pages that are similar to a specific or specified web pages. Now we have info. Now once you enter this keyword it will present some information that Google has about a particular web page. Now next is site. Now this, I keep using it very often. It presents the result only for a website in a given domain. For example, if you want to search my website uh, for a keyword cybersecurity, you can use cybersecurity and then mention site learnwithrojnish.com. Next we have end title. Now this will restrict the result to the document containing the search keywords in the title. Seventh is the end URL. Now this will restrict the result to documents uh, containing the search keyword in the URL. So this is very specific to the keyword in the URL itself. Next we have all in URL. Now this will restrict the results to those with the, all, the, all of the search keywords in the URL. So this is going to match all the keywords in the URL itself. Next we have location. This will find the information for a specific location only. Tenth is the file type. Now this is going to be very helpful. Remember most of the important documents are usually uh, stored in the PDF format itself. So when you make use of file type PDF, this will find the result that are specific to the file type PDF. For example, if you want to search for information related to uh, any cybersecurity or uh, information gathering technique, but if you mention PDF, you will only get the information in the PDF format itself. I hope that was useful for you.